Erev Shabbos and Erev Yontif, everyone. Erev Yontif, Erev Shabbos of the uh, second days of Yontif. Coming to you from beautiful Houston, Texas. And I just wanted to share a thought before Yontif begins that will tie together the entire Yontif. You know, we say at the very beginning, first night, we say, the person is obligated to see themselves as if they have left Egypt. And we speak very elaborately and beautifully about the concept of you have to feel like you're in your own Mitzrayim and you're getting out of your Mitzrayim. But I think that there are many other things that are being alluded to in that dictum of our sages. And I think that we have to understand something very magnificent. We're about to talk about on the seventh day of Pesach and the eighth day in Chutz Laaretz, is all about Yitzhi, it's all about the Kriyas Yamsuf, the splitting of the sea. And it's all about the incredible miracle that was brought about through our actions. Nachshu ben Amidov walks into the water up to his nose, and when it looks like he's about to drown, all of a sudden Hashem tells Moshe, now's not the time to be praying, now's the time to stretch your hand and split the waters. And that we, we learn from that just amazing things, that, it, that there is a time for prayer and there's a time for action. But embedded in that entire story, the Torah tells us that we were we were in the middle of the water, and then it was like we were on dry land. It was so miraculous, so amazing. And then it tells me that I was biyabasha b'seichayam. And then it says I was on dry land in the middle of the sea. Now, why does it have to say it twice, and why does it have to say it in two different ways? Tell me both ways. In the middle of the sea, on the dry land. Or tell me both ways. Why one time do you talk about it? You tell me and one time you tell me in the middle of the sea on the dry land and the other time it's on the dry land in the middle of the sea. So Rabbi tells an amazing thing. The Ramban says, that the reason that we have to recount this every single day, we have to talk about the splitting of the sea. We sing the Oz Yashu, we sing that amazing song the Jewish people sang every single day in our davening is because we have to become learned in big miracles. Because when we can see big miracles, when we can recognize big miracles, then we can start to see the small miracles that take place in every moment of our lives. We can start to see waking up in the morning as a great miracle. We can start to see a birth of a baby as a huge miracle. We start to see somebody chapping something, understanding something in their Torah learning. It's a huge miracle. It's all about the Yad Hashem. It's all about seeing the hand of God in every little daily activity. But that begins with our ability to be able to know that God is there and that God is involved in our lives. And that comes from recognizing the big miracles. It's a little counterintuitive. You would think that start to see the little things and then you'll see the big things, says the Ramban, no, start to see the big things and then you'll see the little things. And maybe that's what the Torah is alluding to us. The Torah is saying, the first time it mentions to us is that that when you're in the middle of the raging sea, you're in the middle of this miracle, you can feel quiet, you can feel relaxed, tranquil. You're on the Abasha, you're on the dry land. If you can do that, then when you're on Yabasha, when you're on the dry land, when life is going normal, when everything is just regular, then you'll be able to feel you'll be able to feel that you're in the middle of this incredible miracle. And that's what we say the first day of Pesach. Of Adam Liros as Atzmo, a person has to see themselves. Kilu Yotz and Mitzrayim as if they just had this incredible miracle happen to them. To them. And we did have this incredible miracle. The splitting of the sea happened to us. It happened to us by waking up this morning. It happened to us by looking at our children. It happened to us by smelling a flower. It happened to us by seeing the sunrise. We were involved in miracles. It happened to us in everything that we did in preparing for Yontif. Hashem is right there. And he's right there performing incredible nisim, and it flows, miracles and wonders. They're a little calmer, a little quieter. But if we just open our eyes, if we use the light of the big miracles, we'll be able to recognize these daily, small, incredible, life-size miracles. And then we will have fulfilled the dictum and the obligation of this holiday of Chayav Adam Liros Esatzmo Kilu Yatsim Mitzrayim.
that we would see ourselves as if we are the beneficiaries and the recipients of incredible miracles, and therefore we would be filled with a sense of thank you, Hashem, an incredible sense of a chorus hatov, and then we will have fulfilled Pesach. If we can get to that place tonight, tomorrow, Shabbos, if we can get to that place, so then we have come full circle and fulfilled our obligation for Pesach. Suggestion. Tonight at the dinner table, at the Yontif table, go around the table and ask people, name me a miracle that happened to you today. And after the first two people, say waking up and breathing, then you have to start to hunt a little bit and to scratch a little bit. When you start to scratch, then you're going to see incredible things. That's what Pesach is all about. Chay of Adam Liros as a person has to see themselves as if they are the beneficiary of incredible miracles from God. Because then it's not just you fulfill the mitzvah of Pesach, but you have, will enhance and raise up and strengthen every single day of your life. Open your eyes and you will see miracles all around you. Everyone should have a beautiful, amazing, wonderful, fulfilling spiritual yontif. And that by the end, we should be filled with this buzzing feeling. Thank you, Hashem.